Welcome to Sansar. Now we're on the fringes of the medieval town of Sansar, which is located at the very top of a hill overlooking the River Loire. Today we're going to show you around this wonderful town, including some of its highlights and the best things to do. Sansar is located in the province of Berry in the department of Cher. Nestled within the Loire Valley, a central area which is closely associated with Wanderer Chateau, the closest large town is Bourges, which is around a 45 minute drive away. Sancerre is world famous for its white wine production, though red grapes are also grown and used to make red wine, albeit in smaller production numbers. While most people prefer to focus on the wine production, the town itself is also worth checking out. A maze of quintessentially French rooftops, much of the town is pedestrianised, meaning that it's best explored on foot. Of of course, thanks to its breathtaking position overlooking the Loire Valley, one of the best things to do in Sancerre is to admire the view. The best view in town is undoubtedly that of Esplanade Port César, which is directly across from the tourist office. At the entrance of the heart of the old town, you'll find the tourist office and you can pick up a leaflet here to help guide you around your visit. Because we're in the heart of a winemaking region, like in many other areas in France, you can actually buy directly from the winemakers and even go into some of their shops to do a little tasting. We're now in La Nouvelle Place, which means the new place in English. This is one of the most popular squares in town. You can grab a drink, you can grab a bite to eat, and it's also quite busy in the evenings. Truth be told, like many medieval towns in France, one of the best ways to get to know Sancerre is simply to stroll around and allow the town to reveal itself to you. Enjoy the little details of the pastel-hued houses, go window shopping for your dream house at the many estate agents in town and soak up the ambiance of the sleepy little Sancerre. Like many hilltop villages in France, Sancerre once had its very own chateau, around which the rest of the town developed from the 12th century onwards. It's thought that the name Sancerre might have developed from the term sacred to Caesar before it was Christianized. The most impressive piece of the castle to survive today is the Tour des Fifs. Unfortunately, it is now private property closed to the public and can only be admired from its exterior. The most important church in Sancerre is Notre Dame de Sancerre, i.e. Our Lady of Sancerre. Located next to the main museum on a particularly pretty stretch of road, the ecclesiastical building dates all the way back to the 18th century. Free to visit, should you wander inside you'll be greeted by quintessentially French church architecture, including ornate carvings and stained glass windows. As you can see, I'm now standing directly outside La Maison des Sancerre, which is the main museum in town. It's a very interesting experience for all ages because you can go wine tasting, but you can also look at the museum and go to the 4D cinema where you can learn more about the winemaking process. You probably need an hour or two in order to enjoy all of the interactive exhibitions. I also particularly love this garden at the back that you can access after your visit. There's lots of really fun sculptures and some pretty beautiful views over the Loire Valley. Because we've got a friend who's a winemaker in the region, we were actually able to access the rooftop and so I'll leave you with some images of that. Unfortunately, it's actually closed to the public, but here you go. You'll also have no trouble navigating to find various winemakers because there are these handy little signs all around town. Mm -hmm. 
While strolling around Sansar, you'll soon spy vestiges of the past around almost every turn. One of the most historical pieces to look out for is the former church of Saint-Pierre. The former church actually dates all the way back to the 5th century when a place of worship was established by the monks of Saint-Satur. One of the principal buildings in town is the Sancerre Town Hall, which is known as the Hôtel de Ville in French. This administrative building is located next to the 1519 built Hôtel Le Thomasier, which is now home to a language school. We personally dined at La Petite Maison, which is known as the Little House in English. I was especially appreciative that there were vegetarian options on the menu. Now, you can either get plates to share or opt for larger single dishes. The interior reminded me of a cozy lounge situation, which was really cool, but be sure to book in advance as space is quite limited and fills up fast as it's one of the newer restaurants in town. After dinner, we went for a stroll around town. I definitely recommend doing this as you'll be the only people in the streets and all of the pastel hues are pretty magical when lit up by street lights. We stayed at Le Hotel Panoramique, which provides beautiful views onto the vineyards and of course we had to finish our day with a crisp glass of Sancerre wine. The next day we got up bright and early, took our car that we'd rented and headed out into the vineyards. After all, one of the best ways to enjoy this region is simply to walk or drive around and soak up all of the vineyard views. As you can see, we are now in the vineyards surrounding Sancerre. Now this region is best known for its white wines. Sancerre, as you can see, is elevated above the rest of the region. This is a peculiarity of this town. It's the only one to be kind of elevated above the rest of the surrounding countryside, as most of the villages and towns in this area are along the valley floor. There are a few particularly beautiful viewpoints where you can spy the village of Sancerre from far away. I'll add a link to a blog post that includes these viewpoints in the description box below. Sancerre stands out as the premier appellation for French Sauvignon Blanc originating in the Loire Valley. Characterised by the region's undulating limestone hills and a semi-continental climate, Sancerre produces Sauvignon Blanc wines that boast a luxuriously textured profile featuring gooseberry fragrances, acidity, and hints of flinty smoke nuances. When driving around, you'll probably notice a number of rose bushes. These are planted because roses tend to get sick before the vines, indicating symptoms of disease in the vineyards. And that concludes our tour of Sancerre. See you next time.